A cube of edge length eight equals eight centimeters is positioned as shown in the figure below. There is a uniform magnetic field throughout the region with components BX is three uh, Tesla, BY is two Tesla, and BZ is five Tesla. Calculate the flux through the shaded face of the cube. And B, what is the net flux emerging from the volume enclosed by the cube, i.e. the net flux through all six faces? So the first part, I think, is pretty simple because it's all conceptual. So you have, um, you have this shaded face that is perpendicular to the x-axis, but it's parallel to the y-axis and parallel to the z-axis. So none of the by components are going to go through it, and none of the bz components are going to go through it, but the bx components are, will all travel straight through the shaded uh, face of this cube. So we just set up our equation that the, the magnetic flux is equal to the, in this case I'm going to use this script right here, that means the, the perpendicular portion of the magnetic field times the area that it goes through. And then I can define this perpendicular portion of the magnetic field as equal to Bx because it gives me Bx right here. So now all I have to do is define the area. So this is a cube and it has a length of eight centimeters. So the area would be eight centimeters times eight centimeters. I want that in units of, of uh, SI units of meters. So I gotta take it times 10 to the negative fourth and that'll give me units of meters squared. When you plug in all your numbers, so three times eight times eight times 10 to the negative fourth, uh, 0 0.0192 Tesla times meters squared. Now what is the net flux emerging from the volume enclosed by the cube? So uh, we know if we got something coming in this side, we have to have something that came in over here. So what came in on this side is negative flux. What comes out on this side is positive flux. And so if we add the net flux, the sum of all the fluxes in the cube, it's going to equal zero. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.